Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 61. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. So we're here for the Class R2 North America Tour. Uh, we're not taking an American car. I think that rule has gone out the window as of the R3 events. Uh, we're going to be taking the Mazda. Mazda Ferrari. We're starting off with Infineon Raceway, then Mazda Raceway, which is going to be very good to see uh, the Mazda on the Mazda Raceway. Uh, Indianapolis, Sebring, and then Road America. Let's get going. All right, here we go. First race, and look at that car. I love the fact that... Is this car a rotary engine, first of all? I don't know if it is. But uh, if it is, I do like how um, they have the rotary blades as the exhaust from the actual rotary engine. I think that's sick. The fact that they had this car in um, Gran Turismo PSP as well, I don't think it made its way into the actual Gran Turismo 5, but it was definitely on the PSP version. It was just so cool. Yeah, it's a 2008 concept, but nothing really came of it. It definitely sounds like a rotary, so it wouldn't surprise me if it was a rotary, actually. It's got that really rough rotary sound. I'm up this early because of work. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta wake up early for work. I've had it where I've had a shift start at 9, and I woke up at like 5 in the morning. Like, there's no need for it, but sometimes you just wake up early and... Yeah. That was an alright shift as well. It's quite a cool sounding engine, but I'm 99% convinced now that it is actually a rotary. Which is awesome, actually. Another concept car similar to this is the RX-9 concept car. Oh, do you know what? I haven't seen that one, the RX-9. I assume that is supposed to be what was going to be the predecessor of the RX-8. I still don't get why we didn't get an actual RX-9. I don't think we did, did we? Unless I missed out on that. I wouldn't have missed out on something like that, though, would I? I'd be fucking nuts if I did. But no, I, I really do enjoy the uh, RX-8. Mazda RX-8, I think, is actually quite a nice car. The RX-7 is good as well. Oh, no. I kind of temporarily forgot that I needed to brake. Lovely. Going 
This takes so much fun to drive. I'm so happy I chose this one. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the stream, feel free to uh, drop a like, drop a share, drop a subscription, as it really does help to support the channel. And obviously, if you are a fan of Forza games, uh, I have a video being posted every single day of Forza Motorsport 4 at the moment. Obviously, once we move on to the next game, it'll be Horizon, the Motorsport 5. But uh, I do have a video on Forza every single day. But the other day, because I forgot to upload. Oops. This car is a 320B3 rotor. Ooh! I was correct then. That is so cool, though. I know it's, like, insanely uneconomical for fuel because it just burns through it. Because, like, each rotation is technically, like, three explosions. As opposed to two rotations is one explosion for a four-stroke engine. But I feel like Mazda could quite easily make an engine that has the power of, like, similar to what Koenigsegg have done, making a 600 horsepower three-cylinder engine. They could quite easily make a three-rotor engine that has, like, a thousand horsepower. I think Mazda could pull that off big time. But, uh, no, I'd, I definitely... I need to watch some of the endurance racing because a lot of people I see a lot on Instagram as well of the endurance racing the LMP ones and stuff like that come on little master twenty eleven yeah, it's definitely not in this game. Because I know they had the uh, DB9... The DBR9. Which is like a racing DB9. Oh, thread in the needle. That was amazing on so many levels. That's because it was worse than the LMP2 car. Uh, imagine, imagine if uh, a Formula 1 team made an F1 car that was worse than the Formula 2 cars. That would be fucking funny. Oh, have you heard there's going to be an 11th Formula 1 team? Um, start in 2026, I believe. Um, I believe Andressi has signed a deal. I think it's official now. I don't know if it's the way that it went down. But by how the news has portrayed it, 
A, they've portrayed it as if there's only the option for an 11th team. There's no way that there could have been a 12th or a 13th team or anything like that. So, A, that was the first way that it was portrayed. And B, it almost seemed like out of the four candidates, like there was no way that any of the other ones were going to get signed unless it was Andretti. So, it almost seemed like it was very much a scripted event. I'm really not sure how to feel about it, but it felt very scripted. It wouldn't surprise me with the FIA. Not at all. Trying to load up YouTube on my phone. There we go. I got it on my phone so I can see what's in front of me. And also to know if the uh, stream unexpectedly shuts down. As it's done quite a few times in the past few, uh, few streams. Not bad. I like this song. This is quite catchy. In Too Deep by John Void. Car behind, 10.7 seconds behind. Not bad. Not bad. All right, one more lap. Such a cool design as well. Like, all those lines and everything, it's just wow. I mean, it's it's this kind of design that sort of has seeped into a lot of modern-day cars now. Like, look at the Bugatti Chiron. It's got those little 
popsicle stick. Tail lights now. With the light beam as well. Or was it the Vulcan that had the popsicle light sticks? I think it might have been the Vulcan. <laughs> Honestly? I don't know what it is with Aston Martin calling it all their cars, starting with the letter V lately, but they you got the Vulcan, the Valkyrie, the Valhalla, the Vantage as well. I, that's four cars. My brain can't keep up. Not to sound stuck up to my, my own my own arse. But, I think the guy that makes Forza content, get, Game Riot makes great content, so I'm not. I think it definitely deserves early access, 100%. Um, but there are some content creators that don't make Forza content that I've seen get early access for Forza. Like... I'd, I'd still pay for it. Like, I don't want the game for free. I'd still pay the money for it. I just want it a couple of days early so I can enjoy it with chat. And enjoy it myself, to be honest. But... <laughs> I can even do a review! Bop. Oh, well, it's coming out in less than 24 hours anyways. I can wait that 24 hours. I can't believe I got stuck behind those other cars, though. Now, one thing I think this car is not as good for, by the looks of it, is uh, straight line speed. Why would you slow down there? Alright, up to you. Bonker. Alright, I'm just going to cut the corner. If you're going to squeeze me off the corner, then I'm going to cut it. Now, here's the thing. If Forza can add a track, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. If they can add a track every two months after release, for the next three, four, maybe even five years. It, it depends whether this is just a reboot or whether it is going to be like a continuous thing. Because by the looks of it, it's going to be much more continuous. Uh, and there's going to be a, a longer gap between each game. I think Horizon now is going to be every three years. I think it'd be nice to see Motorsport every five years have a refresh. Because I don't think it needs to be as frequent as it is here. But I think if they can get Motorsport to update. If, if that's the plan that they're going for. If they can release a new track every two months. For at least a good two years. So that's 12 extra tracks. I think it could be alright. In fact, maybe a couple more tracks than that, maybe. A track every season? Is that too much? Who knows? If they could pull off a track every season, then fair play.
Not bad. We've got two more laps. Can't max that 170, 75. Which I mean is fair enough, but it would be nice to get a little more speed out of this thing. I still find it absolutely nuts that that is the mirror up there. That seems crazy. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Why have I got a notification? It's nothing important. Oh shit. It could be important, it's an email. That's kind of curious, actually. A W engine in a Formula One car. I mean, it could work. Makes it a little more stable. I mean, to be fair, in the 90s, the 80s, it was horrible. Ah, oh, fair enough. Ignore me, though. <laughs> to be fair, in the 90s and the 80s, they experimented a lot with Formula 1. They did a lot of weird and wonderful stuff. The 70s, 80s, and 90s. Nowadays, they don't really do that. Um, I think the most wacky and wonderful thing... Probably Das from the 2020 car. I'm going to say that's probably the wackiest thing from modern F1. But that's not even that crazy. Not compared to what Formula 1 used to do. Like teams used to just come up with these crazy ideas. Some would work, some wouldn't. Alright, what a result. I have a feeling uh, this Xbox is going to blow up at some point, and I really hope it's not anytime soon. Though, to be fair, Starfield is like a 120 gigabyte game, so... I still find it crazy that the new Forza is going to be 120 gigs. Hundred and eighteen to be exact. But the car list at the moment is actually bigger than uh, Motorsport. Uh, sorry, Gran Turismo Seven. And by the looks of it, from obviously we saw the gameplay from the Catalonia reveal where the car and its model looked like it was from uh, what is it? The original Xbox version of Forza Motorsport 1. It looked like that. But then I've seen other cars that look genuinely look better in the new Motorsport than Gran Turismo. So... I don't know. Maybe we'll, we will have to have a look. Absolutely squeeze it through there. Couldn't make it. Maybe I will have to have a look. See what, um... Uh, what's it called? See how the cars look. 
see how the car model models look. Too lazy to update old cars. Yeah, potentially. But maybe it was a different build when they recorded that video. Because that's the only one that I've seen that looks worse than the Gran Turismo cars. Every other model looks a lot better. Um, I've got... I've got reservations though. I'm, I'm not going in and being like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be great. I'm going in with an open mind. I'm not expecting it to be amazing, but I'm not expecting it to be shit either. If that makes sense. Like for what is five years of development, I think it should still be a decent fun experience. All round. They should have had enough testing to play the game and judge whether the campaign was fun, whether all of the content was fun. They should have had enough time to do that, so. Hey, no worries, Foxy. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. What happens when you take a corner one-handed? No, you'll never be mine, 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 mine. Dun, dun, du, 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 du. Right, one more lap to go. Oh, hit the wall there. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Welcome to the stream. If you are, feel free to subscribe as it really does help the channel. You'll get notified of all of my videos as long as you hit that notification bell and if you want to help support the channel even more hit the join button Not bad. Alright, coming up across the finish line now. 
And then I believe we got one more race. I think it's Road America next. And then that is this championship done. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about this Xbox right now. It keeps stuttering. All right, here we go. We're actually recording now. Uh, so I think I'm going to do this race and then I'm going to end the stream there. Just because of the fact we've got two championships done today. Oh my gosh. So it's two videos. Plus I'm going to have to get all the thumbnails today anyways. So I can start editing the next batch. Little green car at the back. It's on his own. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to get all the thumbnails. Get them sorted out. So I do need to do those today as well. And then I think I'm going to watch a little bit of motorsport. So I know what to expect when I start. It doesn't seem like that kind of game that... It would get spoiled, so. Not bad. Whoa, going around the other. Oh. Actually, struggling a little bit to uh, overtake some of these cars here. You just don't get the position or the track space to actually do passes sometimes. Like, look at that. Would have rammed right into the back of that car, but obviously I've had to slow down to make sure that I don't do that. Absolute dive bomb. Why are you slowing down so early? Not bad. Master's done a great job so far. I 
Come on. It's going to be quite cool playing some Forza Motorsport 100%. I'm just hoping that my PC is going to be able to handle it. It should be able to. But if it can't, I'll cry. This will also be the first time that I've actually played Forza on PC that isn't like a Horizon game. So a Forza Motorsport. Because Motorsport 7, even though it was on PC, I wasn't actually able to download it because uh, the whole Windows Store not working on my PC malarkey. Which is kind of annoying. Not bad. I will take the rewards. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.